Yes, Nick Friedel, ESPN. Uh, what was your view of that six foul call in overtime there? Um, no, I don't know. You know, I don't think that was a foul. I uh, grabbed the ball, but you know, the ref saw that uh, said that I grabbed his hand. So you know, I'm, I just gotta live with that call. Um, and just move forward, you know, because that was uh, that's what players do. Um, hopefully, next time I can uh, knock down the free throw and uh, do not get in that situation. For both of you, just what's going to stand out to you guys as you think back about this game and, and the, the kind of missed plays or missed opportunities that you guys had uh, this afternoon? I think one is the turnovers. We had too many turnovers. I think we had 20 of them. Yeah, 20 turnovers. <laughs> Um, that's not getting a shot up. I mean, you know, we feel like if we get a shot up, we'll be good with our shots. We get great shots every time down the floor. Me and Giannis and the other guys trusting that they're going to knock down the shot. And also the second chance points to rebound and late in the game. Um, we fell short of that. We had a couple that we just didn't grab and they ended up buying us. That's pretty much it. Turnovers are rebound. We got to take care of the ball, you know, in game two. And uh, hopefully we can get back and rebound the ball because when we rebound the ball, we're real dangerous. We can run. We can do a lot of things, so hopefully in the game two we get him on the ball too. Giannis, coach said you went through probably two progressions before you <coughs> got the ball in on, on, on Middleton's uh, yes. final shot there. What, what, what did you see and what, what were you originally trying to do with that pass? Uh, first of all, before the timeout, I asked Chris if he wants the ball. He said yes, give me the ball. Um, I was looking at Tony. Tony was wide open under the rim. Then I looked at Bledsoe. Then I looked at Chris again. He was far away, so I thought, I can't give him the ball. It's too far. Um, but I didn't have no option. I gave it to Chris, and uh, thank God he didn't like the, the shot down. Jared Weiss, the athletic. Giannis, uh, for the first few quarters, when you were trying to penetrate, but there was another big on the floor, you had to pick the ball up a few times. But with the closing lineup, it seemed that you had more freedom and more spacing. So how did the lineup that you guys were going with there at the end allow you to kind of get through the defense? You know, how we... How the game is going on, they're going to open up defensively. Uh, it just like as a player, you have to have patience. Uh, they were knocking down shots. Um, so I had patience. I know eventually it's going to open up and I'm going to be able to make plays and uh, find my teammate or try to score the ball. Giannis, what was the challenge of, of defending Horford both outside <coughs> and in the post where you know, a couple times he got called for reach fouls and, and you know, he seemed to be you know, playing pretty efficiently there? Uh, I just I gotta do a better job guarding uh, Horford. You know, he's a um, really big body. He knows he's, he's under control. He knows what he's doing down there. And um, hopefully in game two, I don't play my heels and uh, I play more in my toes and uh, able to um, defend without fouling too.